So there is the rumor. Um, so there, there apparently was a rumor that Mercedes versus Soraya was supposed to happen on this card. Um, and then, of course, Mercedes was injured. Uh, we still don't know the severity of it. Likely, probably not going to, regardless of what the injury is, not going to be cleared in what are we at two weeks now, almost two weeks now, um, like 16 days, <laughs> something like that. So match is obviously not going to be happening. Um, and I guess there was some pushback about like why this match would even happen and things like that. But Mercedes and Soraya are friends. <laughs> like Soraya said on Renee's podcast, when she got cleared to find out that she would actually yeah, be able to wrestle I again, have a picture one, of that. one of the very first people she called was Mercedes to tell her, because obviously they have a connection. Mercedes is who she was in the ring with when she was initially injured and people were, some of Soraya's fans were going after Mercedes saying she paralyzed her and ruined her career and oh, all these people. terrible things. And of course, Soraya's like, of course I'd never, things happen in the ring. I, of course, have never blamed her for it. So she was like, I still, because of that relationship we had, I wanted her to know. And so that was one of the, she's like, literally one of the first people I contacted from my car when I found out I was cleared was Mercedes. So, and I was like, and Mercedes is going <laughs> to, she's going to call the shots. She's going to tell Tony, you know, I will come wrestle at Forbidden Door, but this is what I want. And I'm pretty sure Tony's going to do whatever Mercedes would like. If she says, I would like to, I mean, maybe if she says she wants to wrestle Kenny Omega, you know, he might say no to that because he doesn't like the Undertaker wrestling, but pretty much anything. I would be here for that match, by the way. I'm the same. <laughs> so yeah. I was like, but, you know, whatever Mercedes wants, you know, I think he probably would have given her. And even Tony said on the, on the media call, he's like, only she and I know what was discussed right. and what we talked about so this rumor could just be a rumor that was people just making assumptions that it would be Soraya maybe this was maybe this is something that Tony and Mercedes talked about but regardless this match is not happening at Forbidden Door now <laughs> if it ever was in the begin uh, right. to begin with but yeah so apparently there was some pushback on that but then there's been another before we get to the the stardom thing there was another match that's been kind of rumored is CM Punk versus Kenta uh, that's now that a, one I did not have a picture for because I only heard about that. Yeah, one this it's morning, and it's I was more like, or less been a rumor, but it's it has it's a rumor that has credence to it. It's something that could easily happen be, because Kenta obviously is New Japan. He's available. CM Punk will be back. It, he'll be back right before. Or no, well, Collision. Yeah, Collision's a week after, or like eight days after um, Forbidden or before Forbidden Door, I should say. Yes, eight days before Forbidden hmm. Door. And then, so conceivably, this match could happen if they wanted it to. And Kenda has been playing into it because there was a clip of CM Punk talking about, like, he uses I the GTS. He was yeah. like, I, you know, I stole it from Kenta. I didn't try to change the name because it's from Kenta. And so, and Kenta, that, that's that been, I mean, he's openly talked about that for years. And so Kenta has basically said, if you want this match to happen, then Tony has to pay me. <laughs> so he was like... He was like, give me the bag and I will come. And then today he tweeted and said, oh, no, somebody said something like, I can't remember a fan said something like, I think he said, Tony's not going to pay you or something like that. And he would rather it be CM Punk versus Naito. And he <laughs> and Kenta said, well, if Tony is not going to pay me, let it be Naito. I don't care. He was <laughs> like, I don't need this match. Just give me money. So I was like, I could very easily see this match happening just because Kenta is just kenta and he's do you of think that punk would want that match yeah i i do you think I, he I would think so. i think he would just because i don't think he's gonna back down from kenta um kenta's obviously uh i don't want to say because i don't know how healthy cm punk is so i don't want to say that he's out but cm punk hasn't been in a ring since last september at least in a in a match as far as you know i'm sure he's been training in a ring but as far as a match but kenta is out here <laughs> he's the he's the strong champion he just yeah, won the defy true. he won the defy championship last week from nick wayne so he's got two titles right now <laughs> and so, yeah, fair enough. Kenta, You're right. so maybe right. if yep. so maybe if punk says no it's because kenta might be in a little bit better shape than he is <laughs> kenta, kenta might be a little angry so <laughs> So I think it would be, I hope the match happens just because I think it would be a lot well, of fun. Well, yeah, no, I think it would be a fascinating match. It would be a great match. match. But then I was like, but I would be. Very interesting yeah. match now. Yeah. And Today, especially, right yeah, now. especially because the way Kenta's been feeding into it. Yeah. It reminds me kind of like when Kenta uh, was wanting, was it was John Moxley and he kept, you know, he kept going on after he him on Twitter. He just didn't need more. 
Uh, yeah, Kenta. he is. <laughs> Kenta's very good at it. <laughs> just, I'm going to antagonize the yeah. ever-loving F out of you just because <laughs> I can. Yeah, exactly. Until you give me this fight. Yeah, yeah. Kenta, and then I will Kenta the crap out of you. Exactly, and I, I fully expect that. So I expect like, strong as, style, old school. That's what I was going to say. Kenta will be Kenta times 10 in that ring if it happens. <laughs> that would actually fundamentally be a safer match for Punk to do. That is because true. there wouldn't be a lot of flipping and uh, crazy that's, crap like that. That's a good point. Kenta would definitely. No, so it would probably. Me. I mean, if he wants to, like, if Punk wants to, kind of like talk, like, I mean, best of the world and stuff, and do a little, like, kind of broaden his, like, I mean, because it'd be great to see it. So, like, yeah. maybe it's the perfect person for him to wrestle, and I mean. He'd have to take some chops and all kinds of crap like that. And I mean, it, that difference. I mean, there's, yeah. Kent is not climbing on and doing dives off the top rope. No, much. I mean, <laughs> exactly. that's not his. That's not his game. Yeah, so. and if, if CM Punk has learned anything, he will might not be diving over any barricades yeah. Yeah. into the audience. So. Agreed. Then they'll just be trying to see who Please can GTS, yeah. who gets the GTS first, because you have to win. Whoever hits the GTS is gonna have to win with it. <laughs> like, yeah. True. <laughs> you have to have that. Grace said it should Dang. happen on collision. Hmm. Hey, that would work too. Wherever I can see it, I will take That's it. That's <laughs> a great match for collision in Toronto. I was just about to say that would be a great because match those there. tickets are not a moving. 